paid on here okay we are starting another stream uh not live stream recording and uh we're gonna get over here on uh the desktop of course we're on the desktop let's show my camera right in the browser it's the only way i can do it right now with this application simple screen recorder because that's all it is is a screen recorder now Loki backup hasn't run i didn't want to wait on it uh I have I have ran uh, OBS Studio with it. You know, it'll run here in a minute. I have ran it, uh, but you can't have much going at all. Um, a couple of while ago, earlier today, I uh, my cameras. You know, I was using my cameras, and they were way behind in OBS Studio. And uh, and I, I, I saw that you know it was running. It was actually doing that. See, the script is running right now, getting ready to run. Ten minutes or so after I boot, is <coughs> what it does. <coughs> and uh, and then while the backup is running, that's when the machine can't do much else, you know. Uh, and actually, I tried killing it. I rebooted, well, you know, since the last video. I tried killing, ending the process, and it just went to uh, zombie. It goes to zombie sometimes. Sometimes things go to zombie, and you have to kill them to, you know, and start them back up again or just don't use them. Anyway, I thought, well, I just won't have it run the backup this time, you know, but... Uh, it went to zombie, and then I thought, I don't know, you know, I could hit force kill, and then I thought, no telling what kind of trouble I'll cause, could cause in the, you know, later. So uh, probably nothing, but I didn't want to take any chance, so I rebooted again. So now I've got to, I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to leave it like that, and I'll kind of monitor when it's done. Hopefully it won't. I'm not streaming. I'm just making a video. So uh, the streaming app is not uh not too bad when it's just streaming it's only see 19 percent and oddly enough lucky backup doesn't show up any you know noticeable cpu or memory usage but for some reason uh, i keep saying lucky backup it's really running R. lucky backups a gui to run r sync but none of them uh, are running showing up a lot i mean you can you'll see you can see it once it starts running if i if i go over there and it won't be a lot but it still slows down the machine and you can't do you got to really watch what you're doing okay so anyway looks like my file is being made over here and that's the only way i can tell for sure that i you know that i'm making a video okay um i uninstalled lucky backup again and i'm going to reinstall the older version and then I'm going to, if it works, then I'm going to have to try to figure out how to, uh, and I went ahead and uh, I put my my profile with all my, I put, I did, uh, well, I backed up the, uh, you know, brand new profile with just that one desktop uh, scene in it. And I replaced it, though, in here with my uh, profile that has all of my settings that I like, you know. So, uh <clears throat> Hope, I don't think they're the problem after all. So uh, I did forget to go ahead and change those two settings I was talking about, the bit rate and the, and the uh, uh, what was the, well, there was the audio, uh, kilo, the audio bit rate and the video bit rate. I thought I might change those first, but I forgot. So we'll just try what I had planned on doing. I probably would have just took more time. I mean, I already did all that before, you know. It's in my that profile that's going to be restored. <clears throat> so I'm just going <coughs> to reinstall it with the oh, there's only one older version in there available. And if it works, then I will try to figure out how to freeze it at that version and wait until I find out that it should work, you know, in a newer version. I had Fedora 23 running until I went to Fedora 28. That's what I had on this machine, and I was using a much older version of OBS, but I had no problems. Well, there was a few problems here and there that went away in Fedora 28. A few things like being able, not being able to change settings while it was, even though you could do it, um, it would mess it up. It would cause it to use too much memory. And, and sometimes it would act kind of funky and it would just start using too much memory. And you could close it and open it back up and it would uh, be all right. Um, it, so that stuff was fixed in Fedora 28 in the newer version. You know, I was stuck on whatever version that fedora 23 was up to <clears throat> and um because it was ill you know into life it was past it pretty far you know so it wasn't getting any more 
uh, updates to programs. Might have been getting, I think it was getting a few security updates, but uh, that was about it. So we're going to look for OBS again. And we want OBS Studio, and I think it's going to be that one. Yep, 21.1 uh, x86.64. So this time, I'm trying to do screenshots of what I'm doing here in case I want to know without having to go watch my own video. <coughs> my videos are too darn long, but I can't help it. Okay. Oh, and that's all I need to do. It'll it'll add everything else it needs. See, I was running 2203, and that was not working. So let's see <coughs> if this one will work. Now it's going to do the same thing. All these uh, dependencies will be, you know, automatically put in there. It's only 6.1 megabyte for everything. It's just so beautiful how small Linux programs are. It's like, I would say, I started to say Windows 3 one sizes, but I don't know. I think it might be smaller than that. Maybe DOS size, DOS program sizes. Some of them are pretty good size. There's uh, one of the funniest ones that you wouldn't expect, I wouldn't expect. LibreOffice is like 300 megabytes. <laughs> but, you know, video editing and all these things that are huge in uh, Windows, they're not. In Linux, of course, it's not the same program. Well, OBS is; it's available. I don't know if it's bigger in Windows. I don't remember. I bet it is. I'm sure it is. I know it's bigger than six megabytes. Because I did start out with it on Windows. Because uh, I think maybe it was not available. It was they were still working on the Linux version when I discovered OBS. Because I, I know my vid my oldest videos of OBS are were done in Windows Seven. I was kind of looking around through them the other day. <clears throat> and let's see, pay attention here so we'll know. Put that little rolling ball down there and buy that. And then if something comes up, that kind of brings my attention to that area. And then if something happens, I'll see it more likely. I don't like to just sit there and watch a program install, because, but I need to know for sure that it's done and when it's done. So sometimes I get off and uh, check things. I'm going to do right now. <laughs> okay, now see, R Sync is running. Lucky Backup is running. But see all that R Sync? That's what that uh, SH script does. It doesn't have a name on it, it just says SH. But uh, see, that's not. That's uh, six megabytes of memory, 5.9 megabytes. That one there. And each one's a little, you know, what, five megabytes? Yeah. That's it. You no. Know, the, the Lucky Bogart, Lucky. Backup program itself with 1.6 megabytes, and uh, our, that that instance is R Sync was using 3% of CPU. Now it's one, and those others don't. Well, now now two of them are, but it just won't. It just doesn't make sense why it, you know, burdens the machine so much when it's really not doing that much. But it does. Okay, so I couldn't stay there, could I? Well, it, you know, it's a good thing that's still working. It's embed uh, embed. PLS, that's in other programs, <clears throat> other audio video programs. I recognize it from years past. Um, so once it gets done, I think then maybe it'll do FFmpeg. Well, it says 5 of 5, so I guess that's going to be the last one. I'm trying to remember from the last time I installed it. Now, this one is, of course, the older version. But, uh, oh. Well, I can't remember a darn thing. I actually meant to try finding. There's this cleanup app that I was talking about the other day, thinking about, and I was thinking about it again. I thought I might try. To, I was going to try to find that cleanup app and run it and see if it saw any OBS folders in the. It doesn't find. Um, I know it'll see VLC and clean up its cache and some other things like that. I think it's done now. Um, Why don't I see an OBS? Oh, there it is. Why don't I see the... Uh... Now there's an update. Okay. Oh, that's weird. I 
I don't know if it's gonna run. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Um. So it may not let me do it unless I, uh, now that's probably the libs. Yeah. So I better hurry up and try to use it before it tries to run updates. Cause I don't know when it'll run updates, how often it does it or anything. It's all, I've got it set automatic. I could try and turn it off, but I think I'd have to do it in the, I don't think I can do it in the, in the GUI and like do it really fast. So I'd have to go look up commands and stuff. Well, that's not what I expected, so let's hurry up and quit. Well, at least Lucky Backup is finished, so now I can open it up along with Simple Screen Recorder. All right, now, um, we're just going to get over here and, uh, well, let's just go ahead and put it up there in the panel. I don't know why it does two. Uh, well, the last time I... It could all, always be from two different versions, though. That could happen. I think it's just doing... Uh, I mean, I figure it's doing it because it has two icons in there, but why is it picking them both up? I don't understand that. So that tells me there's some files from OBS still left behind in the system so that... Uh, oh, it says it crashed right from right off the bat there. All right, let's... Uh, Rid of that one. I wonder if that's to the newer version files that I uninstalled or something. Okay, it's not still running or anything. Could be crashing because I'm running this uh, other recorder, but it didn't uh, before. Yeah, it sure did. Huh. Or it could be crashing because it's not installed properly. There, it's down there. Yeah. Okay, so it's not running. <clears throat> I'm gonna go right back into the installer and see if I can install the uh, other part of it that's not there. I guess I'll leave that. That's just a shortcut to the. Uh, <clears throat> This is uh, very familiar, this happening. <coughs> uh, I wonder, it might have happened the first time I installed OBS. Maybe I didn't uh, notice. Maybe I picked the older version. Oh, it's there now. Ah, yeah, so it's there. It just, uh, well, I wonder if I have to, you know, I've been rebooting. Have I been no? I haven't been rebooting after installation. I've just been rebooting. It may be crashing because Simple Screen Recorder is running, and this older version may not be able to. Let's try opening it from the uh, regular. Okay, then uh, I'm going to have to close down this this recorder that I'm using and uh, try it that way off you know off uh, camera off off desktop. <coughs> I'm getting to where I'm going to have to have a cough drop. All right, so I'm going to stop this recording, and I'll try and take screenshots and then come back.